Hi everyone. Welcome back to Table Flipping Board Games. This is episode 20, I think. Oh my gosh. And I know. It's crazy that we've been... I was thinking, that's a lot, but we've been playing other games. And I thought, no, wait a second. We've only been playing the first two scenarios of Gloomhaven <laughs> during this time. Wait, this is episode 20 of Gloomhaven? Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah. we, did we did play other stuff. Din, but yeah. yeah, that's right. That's right. So the dragon fire and things like that were still in the episode in the season count. So right. Yeah, that's true. I guess we've been playing this since like September. If yeah. I want to say. Yeah. But still sad that we're only on scenario. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not that sad. We finally Three. beat the other Three, one. I mean. That's true. We, we didn't have to tune the difficulty down, so that that's okay, right? That's exactly. True. Yeah, that was cool. I was glad up. that we didn't do that. Yeah, plus so, we're all level two. Yeah. Yeah. So we did find out a couple of things <laughs> that we'll definitely get into. Um, namely, we, we forgot to add the six experience points, bonus points that we were supposed to get it after successfully completing an adventure. Um, if we had played on a different, so the cool thing about it is you can choose to play on a harder difficulty level if you want, which get, grants you more bonus XP. But of course, the monsters will be harder, and I don't think you could possibly win that on any other difficulty, <laughs> unless you were also a higher level. Maybe, uh, yeah. Oof, yeah. So we're glad to be past that. We finally, uh, hopefully, quenched that scorn that the Quattro was feeling. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. then we're ready to get back into it. Uh, I think a couple of other things that we're still kind of uh, looking at uh, monster are summons AIs, which we kind of directed a little bit more, although I don't think we really affected the game much because we pretty much cast them and then they move like maybe one space uh, or a couple spaces. So I don't think that um, that will be too big of a change. Um, but, you know, this that's what Gloomhaven is. It's a learning process. Yeah, we've uh, had some fun. guys really help us, and thank you to those guys. I think that Mr. Quadisi and Michael Lee, kind of a new guy that's been... Yeah, and it's, and it's nice because if we didn't know about the 6 XP, we might have been missing out. And Nikki yeah. would be at level 1 still, right? So she... Yep. She got to get up there. Yeah. Yay! All right. So oh. before before we get started, just a really quick re uh, reminder: we are part of the Misclicks channel. Be sure and check out all the great stuff they've got throughout the week. Uh, we're here on Saturdays, but there's a lot of really cool stuff like uh, horror let's uh, yeah horror let's plays uh, with what's the name of the show? Gutsy. Gutsy. That's it. And then um, there's D and D sessions and all kinds of exciting things going on. Uh, and we're here every Saturday, so. Come and join us, play board games, sometimes good, sometimes badly. <laughs> um, but we always try. That's the important thing. Yes. All right, so we're getting ready to get into our scenario here. As you can see, we, um, we've got a brand new scenario. We kinda, I kind of changed a few things. We're using some cooler looking models and... Uh, someone added some, I didn't write down the name, I should have, of the person who put in a bunch of 3D models. Some of them look like Warcraft models and <laughs> things from uh, uh, Warhammer Fantasy. And what you said this was from League, right? The Spell uh, Weaver? Zyra the spell is, weaver? yeah. Oh, yeah okay. I look Zyra. so cool, you guys. <laughs> yeah. I'm huge. <laughs> She's one of my favorite League characters. Oh, that's she cool. She looks so fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. She's really huge, though. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. She's just really tall. You can you can always shrink her if you want her to be a little bit more. No, yeah, the face will change <laughs> size though, with not. everything. <laughs> yeah. Um. So oh, I guess I'll read the. We we did have a little bit of an interlude. So at the end of the scenario, we actually got um two items which are up here on the on the top we'll have to figure out who gets those items i think they are hand items so if you have one hand if you have two hands full you can't take the item but i don't believe anybody has any full hands yet no. so we got two volatile bombs i'm assuming they were left over from after we blew up the ship uh during a, a ranged attack so i think maybe the ranged attack people might find them more useful you can blow up a cluster of three 
instead of a single turn the attack into the following so does it retain the damage that you yes. were originally casting it just hits an aoe right right plus but any it... debuffs you might be doing right that's right that's cool okay it's a once okay. per game though so that's it's going to be on the big big groups if it has that lost icon can i recover it with my uh no you just have to it, that means that it's out once you use it it's out for the rest of that playthrough but at the beginning of the next scenario you get to replenish it so it's... Well, that's not the one that removes it from the game though that's not that yeah simple. that's a lost card yeah, that's just a... right on when they're on the car when they're on item cards. That means you consume them, which means that you use them once per scenario, and flip them upside down after you use them. Then you have to wait till the next scenario. Oh, because those aren't they're as, items, not they're the different. Yeah. Right, right, they're I items, gotcha. not yeah. Like using a potion. Well, don't right, give one to right. me because I I don't have a single ranged attack. I Remember have it? very few, so mm -hmm. I I think you. Uh, Deb and Nikki have the best, right? The best range. Sure. Uh, I do have some really good range attacks. So yeah, I'm I, have some range I have like range and wound. So yeah, I'll that's just, logical. I'll take yeah, go it. ahead, you guys. Okay. Oh, Thank we you. just we take them now. Yeah, okay. yeah. Right. We Free got them item. as a reward. I thought we had to pick them up or something. No, it's nice. We got them. Got them right away. So at are the they, end. Wait, are they from the other ship? Yes. Did we take them for? Oh, oh, yeah. I they were a reward from the last mission. Yeah. <laughs> oh, neat. Uh, so, the at the end of each mission, uh, this was a Kickstarter campaign um, that was run. So basically, everyone who voted, it was kind of like a popular vote, uh, decided how the story would continue. So the question for at the end of the scenario was, who are you going to save from the ship? And the choices were haul Barty half a year onto the dinghy with you. Because uh, we escaped in a dinghy, search for Drail down below and attempt to rescue her, or salvage some of the Quattro's engines and machinery instead. So I believe the choice that was made was to rescue Drail. Which oh, oh thank oh. God! I was like, why would we yeah. save Barty? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, machine. Why would we save either? Machine. <laughs> yeah. So uh, well, the... I mean, I probably would have voted for the parts personally yeah. as you. a Quattro myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So the interlude is, uh, it is difficult to keep your footing as the ship shudders and lists, slowly breaking apart at the seams. One of you swims through the lower part of the ship in search of a of drail, while the rest head out to the deck looking for a dinghy. Barty is left to drown in his wooden coffin. <laughs> you manage to find <laughs> both. <laughs> yeah, you you manage to find both things you're looking for, but drail is face down in the water, badly burnt and not breathing. Whoa! You, you pull her clear of the wreckage and get her on board with the small lifeboat. One of you begins pumping her chest and blowing air into her mouth, while another, unconcerned for her fate, jumps into the water to salvage some machinery from Drail's ruined ship. Yes, oh, apparently it was a one. split vote. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you get Drail to breathe again, weakly coughing up lungfuls of water. Your other party member returns with only some basic tool and gears, and then you row toward the island on the horizon. As it gets closer, you see it is much larger than your initial expectations. The side facing you is lined with dangerous crags, but there appears to be an opening to a cave in the sheer cliffside. So uh, we're going into the cave? Apparently. Great choice, guys. <laughs> uh, option A was to continue around the perimeter of the island looking for a safer place to land and properly take care of Drail. Or option B was a dangerous cave adventure. Who cares about helping Drail recover from her injuries? So apparently everyone chose option A. So we continue around the perimeter looking for a safer place to land and take care of Drell. So then we head into scenario three, unreliable medicine. Uh, so our goal is to loot bloodroot tokens. Uh, mm -hmm. So our lust for adventure apparently has its limits. Faced with the choice between reckless excitement and securing the safety of the mad quattro who tried to kill you, well, it's an easy choice. Looking down at the shivering, battered figure of Drail lying in the center of the boat, you can't help but feel sympathy for her. Her madness was driven by an understandable anger and need for revenge. Plus, she may be the only one who can help you get back to civilization. Halfway around the north side of the island, the cliff, was thankfully, the cliff walls thankfully recede and give way to a sandy shore. You beach the boat and carry Drail to lar dry land. Your healing skills are able to stabilize her and bring her back to consciousness. But her burns are alarmingly severe. She can do little but moan in agony. Bloodroot, she gurgles. 
Yes, you remember the salve of the blood root can alleviate burns, and it is very possible that the root could be found on this very island. Drell seems to think so, at least. You stare off into the trees beyond the beach, thinking things through. You face a couple of problems. One is that there are very strange noises coming from the inner island, a low, eerie sound <laughs> with a regular rhythm, accompanied by random, high-pitched screeching. It is off-putting, to say the least. Your other problem is that the blood root is nearly indistinguishable from dagger root, a highly toxic plant that causes debilitating poison with any amount of contact. Aww. Drail moans again, and you resolve, your resolve solidifies. You will brave the strange forest to help her recover. It doesn't take long to, fi long, uh, it doesn't take long to find those problems, though. So the special rules on this scenario is, as you can see on the map, there are these silver uh, target tokens, and they are either going to be odd or even. You have to loot them. We have to loot them. Uh, the goal is to loot four of them. Let's see. Oh no, we had to find six of them, I'm sorry. Six of them to complete the scenario. If you loot an odd number token, you've accidentally found dagger root instead, and you immediately gain poison and suffer two damage. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Okay. So there's a lot of poison here. Six, and there's 12 tokens total, so half of them will be poison. <laughs> and we have to find four blood root. We have to find six. Oh, six, oh, try it yeah. Oh, wow. We could really get screwed on this RNG. Definitely. And like, this if is... this whole room is all poison. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And this is, uh, and of course, these are just the first four blood roots. There's going to be more in the other rooms, but I haven't populated those yet. And what are the tokens that we see, like, <clears throat> just so I don't mess so, up? So, yeah. So, again, all the green tokens are obstacles. So, these are some tree stumps, things like that, mm -hmm. that we can't go through. Okay. Uh, anything that's gray is just another, just treat it like a regular hex, two hexes okay. in this case. Uh, the orange is a special type of token we haven't run into before. It's a hazard. Hazards are like traps because they damage you if you go into them, or enemies if they go into them. But they only do half damage, so these trap these are bushes of thorns and they only do one point of damage. But unlike traps, they actually stay permanently on the spot. Ah, okay. Yeah, so, and then... Uh... I think I misunderstood this silver white tile we treat like a normal hex. Hexes. It's hex. two hexes. It's the size of two hexes. <clears throat> I'm like scared to stand on it though. Is it like secretly quicksand? Do no, have... no, it won't no, ever. No, it's just a, it's just a bridge between <laughs> those two tiles so it it trust. covers over the wall. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. I got yeah. it now. Like a yeah. door tile. But I yeah. was like, not blocked. why is it an object? Is it going to do <laughs> yeah. something like what about the blue ones? The so the blue ones are still our doors, but in this case, I guess because we're in a forest and there aren't literally doors in the forest, it's just like a fog of war that's oh. blocking us our vision to the next room. Okay. Um, but once we go through them or let, step on them, just like a normal door, we'll reveal the next next room. And, and then we're gonna this... figure out what these green obstacles are. They look like broken watches mm -hmm. or bridges or Yeah, they are I think they're like no, shrines they're... of some kind. Yeah. 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 They could be. And then this two hex tile here that's purple is a hazard uh or I'm sorry, it's difficult terrain. And that just means it costs two movement points to move into it. So like the puddles before. Right. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Those are the only tiles. That, there's some green, okay. larger three-tile obstacles, but they 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 pretty much serve the same purpose. So. Okay. We've Don't got worry, oh. You're, so, you're uh, not going to use your new dude. He's so cool. Well, I did have a thing. I don't have a thing under him like you guys. I, I think the only reason why we do is because we have summoned creatures and you don't. Oh. That's you can reason. still use him. Yeah, you can have this one. I like my tile underneath, though. All right. Back so, off, this doesn't... everybody. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> so we are facing two new creatures. The giant vipers are the snake creatures. There's regulars are white bordered, and then the elites are yellow bordered. Uh, the giant vipers both have poison. Uh, they don't do a lot of damage, but that poison can add up and they don't have a lot of hit points but i think Does that poison, poison stack 
No. no. Oh, okay. I, I... But what sucks is is that you the healing basically is negated, right? We, like, we can't heal. Right. If you do a heal, it just kills the token. Right. So I might be trying to... I mean, someone's going to get poisoned. Right. So I'll try and be that guy. So the two Earth Demons, these guys are both elites. They're going to be hard because they're going to be heavy hitters. They both do four points of damage, and they have 13 hit points. So What? Yeah. Oh. Wow. Okay. I feel like we should maybe stay where we are and let the shit come to us and pick it off. Like, everybody it... focus fire these mm -hmm. little serpents. And... I wonder if Joe can go here. Then the rock dudes can't move through him, and they have to come through the poison, right? Well, they'll just poison, they'll, but... they'll go through this. I think they could. They'll go they here, or they'll here go around. They oh, I forgot uh, about the circle thing. But yeah, I was thinking I, I've I've got all my cards, so. Which well, if we if we kill the snake. Here and push this guy. If we kill the snake. And we can get over there. We can pull the dudes through that trap. Mm -hmm. Or at least, um, yeah. I think and Gabe I could, and I have pull. I could push the snake back up to two. I have a. Oh, you could do that, yeah. But I, I mean, they're they're pretty. S well, yeah. I mean, I guess if you want to push them right away. Don't have to. It will kill him automatically, right? Is that that's not a an elite? It's just a little baby one, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Gosh, it's three hit points. Yeah, I could. But it's not a trap. It's not a trap level damage. It's only one damage. It only does one damage. What? Yeah. The the hazards only do one point of damage. They do half the damage of a trap. Oh. Routed down. That's disappointing. Yeah. Well, but hey, damn. it's still one damage. Yeah. Well, I think I would have picked a different card. Okay. Oh, well. I haven't picked Next a time. card yet. Oh, you mean in general. Yeah. In my deck, I have a pull card, and I don't think I'm going to need it on here. Because I don't think we have anyone who makes traps. Yeah, I was actually thinking I should swap out some more of my healing cards for all the poison. So we're ready to pick cards. Uh, that's where we're at? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, well, the healing will still be useful because I don't think we're going to make it through four rooms without with does any poison. Not want me to push the snake, That's what I, I guess, just in Oh, case. I see. I don't I didn't put all of my healing cards in this. Oh, I see deck, what you're saying. But I guess we'll find out if that was Yeah, the right there you move. go. <laughs> yeah. I think um I I think I want to switch out one of my cards. Is that cool? We haven't started yet. Is that all right? Yeah. Well, I don't know if you're supposed to know the monsters before you pick your hand, right? Uh, well, I it think wasn't that's the after... monster, it's just the trap. So... Or anything, though. Yeah, I think it's after... I think I think it's after you pick the scenario, but... but you pick your starting are hand. Are you allowed to see tiles and everything before you pick your hand? I think that's... Uh, early... Let's see... That might be kind of good to know for future, too. Um, pretty sure I can kill the Viper. Because this is a non-elite, right? Yeah. I can kill him before anybody else, if that's helpful. Yeah, so it says, uh, read the introduction text. Players should decide which ability cards they would like to put in their hand. So we know everything in this scenario. Oh, you would see the layout? Okay. Yep. okay. Just, see just checking. Very cool. Then, yeah, yeah switch it. Um, well, if you're going to kill the Viper, Nikki, I think what you said about me being here might not be bad. A and we could start choking their movement options anyway. Yeah, because they'll have to go one of two ways then, either through the trap or over by the thingy. Mm -hmm. But then at least we're funneling them a little bit, I guess. Yeah, might not. So I'm not going to plan to attack. You'll definitely kill that little guy. I'll just set myself up to... I think unless there's an absolute disaster, I will kill him. 
Okay, I'll pick something based off that then. Okay, we'll try that. Wait, so you are gonna kill that one? I'm fairly, uh, yeah. Unless I draw my modifiers terribly, I will kill him. And then Devin gave, I'm gonna try and end up here and then just be set up to soak hits. So I don't know if that'll mess with, let me know if that messes with plans. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't think I sh it should. Oh, wait, just kidding. Ignore me. One, oh, you... one sec, one sec. I misread a card. I'm so sorry. So you can't kill the Viper? Uh... Maybe? If somebody goes before me and is elemental, I could maybe kill him. I'll, oh. I'll do something that could attack him if we need to as a backup. Sorry, okay. pa pause one second. Um, everybody forgot to, uh, we forgot to do the battle goals. Oh. Oh, that's right. Okay. Uh, that's not going to happen. I mean, I guess I could do that. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I could do that. Okay, I, I can do this one. one. I will take that. Mm. Everyone oh. draw. Yeah, okay, cool. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um, Joe, if you are going to attack, are you doing any sort of elements? No, I, I very rarely will ever help you. I think I got one card that ever has an elemental infusion. Okay. I I might, but I'm not going very early. I mean, I'll infuse. But... Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. Okay, so the plan is for who to get the snake? Nikki, I think, is going to attack it, and I'll have a backup attack to hopefully finish it in case she misses or gets a bad. And okay. I'm going to set up. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Deb, any chance you're doing elements? Um, uh, I don't think so. Okay. No worries. No worries. I if everything goes well, then we're good. Like I just an MVD. I'm just worried about modifiers. They hate me. Okay. And for anyone new watching while Deb's still picking, uh, in case this is new to you, every round, every hero gets to pick two cards. That card has a lead card, and the lead card will have an initiative number. The monsters will also get a card, and initiative is determined by numbers which we don't know and can't discuss. And then when it's your turn, you get to play the top half of one card, the bottom of another, and the monsters will have actions and attacks. Well. Um, where is, is anyone else moving, by the way? So I know Joe's going here. Uh, I'm not planning on moving, because I thought we were going to hang out here. Someone going to make their way to the loot? Is someone planning to be... I can go here. <clears throat> Not the first round, anyway. Yeah. Um, how quickly are we going to kill that snake? He only has three hit points. I can. I know. I want to be there, though. I need to get up further. Oh, I could potentially kill it. Um. Uh, Real quick. Uh, not not super fast, but. You know, still, still young. <laughs> no cheating. Uh, maybe. No maybe cheating. Mar marriageable age. No cheating. We're not cheating. No, no kids yeah. yet. It's funny. We had a. You guys, Nikki and Deb, might not know. And again, I'm just filling time while Deb's picking. We were having a debate with you two people about 
because the game allows you to talk around the initiative but it's not specific on using things that relate to a direct number like if you say i'm going the drinking age in the <laughs> And so we had a debate with a few. That's just people on YouTube not being creative enough, and they're jealous. Yeah, <laughs> hey, I, I think it's fun. I took our position too because I said, "Look, these guys created the game, play tested it. They've had more than enough time to come up with meta rules. And if they don't specifically say you can't do that, then I'm going to hold them." Well, they do say if you're going to talk about numbers, you're supposed to make increase the difficulty because the game's going to be easier. I don't know. Yeah, and how so that, that was the rule that came. Three yeah, three times that... on the same scenario. I don't they think it's that much easier, guys. Add a sentence that says, "Look, if they didn't want it, be very direct and say you can't talk about, you can't say specific numbers or say anything that relates to a specific number." But they don't, and that's their. Opinion. Well, does that rule page say that? Doesn't it say just that? Don't you can't say. Uh, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure one of those guys would have pointed out, but on some downtime, I'll try and. Uh, all right, I'm going moderately fast. That's what I'll say. I'm, lo I'm looking to see. But whenever Deb's ready, let me know. I mean, I just, I want to do something that's Well, if you want, better, I, could, but I need to move If, if you forward. want, I could attack him, and I could potentially kill him. I'm fairly confident I'll kill him. I just need to either be where he is or where Joe wants to be to do what I need to do. Just pick something pretty slow then? Because Nikki said she's going fairly fast. I'm just worried about going after everything else. I'm going pretty fast, so both Nikki and I should go pretty fast, and we're the two that I'm guessing should have it dead by the, by the end of both of our turns. Well... Let's say this then. If we all flip our cards and Deb, we're not going as fast as you wanted, let's all talk about strategy before anyone goes. And we'll try to make whatever we can work. Okay. Uh... Sounds to me like if you pick anything past maybe the midway marker, as they say, which I think <laughs> we can say, I don't know. <laughs> it's not a specific number. I don't plan on going that slow. Um, I'm trying to remember what your cards are. I've got 12 uh, of them, so it's so long. I know. I guess you go all over the place. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure where in the rule book that would be. It's not under the initiative. It's towards the end. Are you talking about yeah. table talk? It, it's towards it the end talk? of the whole thing. It, it's actually um, in the option game var variants, I think, close to that section, because that's where they talk about... Uh, oh, no, right there, uh, page 16. Open information and solo play. seeing it but i'll let you take over well it talks about how in solo play because you know what cards you're, you're controlling two characters but because you know what cards you're playing you have to increase the difficulty by one and then on the other page it says players should not show other players the cards in their hands or give specific information about any numerical value they are however to make allowed to make general statements about their actions for the round and discuss strategy Specific information about any numerical value. So you could say, I am ta I'm attacking the guard near the middle of the round. I'm planning on moving here and healing you pretty early in the well, round. Maybe I'm, I'm wrong then. Maybe that does language-wise. Specific information. About but the inappropriate is very specific. Like, it's like, I'm going initiative 17. I right. should be doing... Oh, apparently you can't even say how much damage you're going to be doing. Well, we've never done that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Cause Cause we, we don't use that. numbers for that. <laughs> we tend to just say like, "Oh, we're gonna He's be able to kill this dead. or not." 
<laughs> yeah. Hey, I think we're all. Also- yeah, and then, even then, we're only right about 50% of the time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, I know. All right, All so right. the Viper is moving at 58. He's moving minus one. The speeds on these guys are pretty slow, so they'll only be moving one space. And then attacking at a plus one. Kind of surprised the snakes aren't something. faster. Yeah. And then the Earth Demons are moving at a plus one, which means they actually move... Well, they're moving at a speed of two, or actually speed of three. They're attacking normally, and then they will eat some wind element to reduce their attack. Oh, if there's wind on the board, their attack is reduced. Oh, right? that's interesting. Oh, cool. So we want to try to infuse it. Well, that's a neat element, neat thing. I didn't know that was. Yeah, so we can is, use the elements or against is it the them. the opposite? No, I think you're right. I think we can. I think we can eat or consume uh, wind to reduce their attack by two. That's cool. Okay. Okay, or or does that go on us? No, that I mean it makes sense. Earth versus air, right? Yeah, we'll have to uh, look that one up. Because it's weird that it would be on an enemy card, but something that we can spend. I'm at fifteen. <clears throat> All right, Deb. Let's see if we did it. Oh, sorry. I was resizing my cards. <laughs> oh, you oh, know what? We did it. I wonder um, if it means that they I can spend. Change my thing completely. I wonder if it means they can spend when to decrease our attacks on them by two. I wonder. Hey. We'll, we'll look that up next day. Yeah. Yeah. Downtime. Um, I guess because it would be one of their actions. Yeah, since it's on their card. Yeah. Okay. So, Deb, are you are you good with us to continue with the current plan? Uh, what? Yeah. Okay. Do whatever you're gonna do, and I'll work around it. Alrighty, then, Joe. All right. Um, I'm gonna use this is one of my new cards. Uh, my level two Juggernaut. The top has a move two and attack two. Ooh, nice. look at you. And the bottom's even cooler. I lose it, but on the next three sources of damage, I get a stuff for no damage. And wow. Just... Oh, I love that. So That's a great. Big guy. Uh, so I'll move to here, and then I get to do attack two. Uh, and my attack modifier deck is much better now with the perks. I got one that removed all the negative item effects and added a plus one, and now I'm going to be drawing muddles and disarms out of this, possibly, that are rolling. Um, so yeah, it's an attack two, and it's an attack one. So I hit it, hit the regular guy for one. So hopefully you can do at least two, Nikki. All right, I feel like I can. He didn't. Yeah, they just have poison. And okay. Oh, so, so you don't have to do that thing on your hide armor. I do when I get hit. Um, no, the the um, times two negative one cards. You don't have to do that anymore. Oh, right, I did get to remove those and put a plus one in. Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. I, yeah, it helped a lot. And it makes and, sense, since you're a warrior, to, to not have the same armor disadvantages since you're trained. Yeah, in. yeah. It's a cool perk. Nice. And then I am just have the bottom of Shield Bash on, which is a shield one till the end of the round. Oh, okay. Uh, nice. All right, I think I'm next. Yes. At 26, right? Okay. So I'm going to use actually one of my new cards as well called Flashing Burst. I'm going to use the top, which is a attack three, range three. And it's a no lost card, you guys, which is a big deal for me. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that is really cool. Nice. Um, so I infused the light for you. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Let me draw a modifier. Plus zero. So he is dead. Nice. Right. There's some tempting loot already on the board. Just for you, Deb. Whoa. Although, I probably need to loot some this turn. Well, that's or... why she was very concerned about you killing it and <laughs> moving there, I think. <laughs> yeah. Actually, um, no, because I decided to do something completely different oh this no. turn. So. Are you not moving there? I don't know. I might not. Because I might. 
Well, if you want to, go ahead. Nikki, you need gold, I think. Last yeah, one. I'm going to go for it. So I have uh, the bottom of fire orbs. I'm going to move three. So I'm going to go one, two, three. Yeah, we need to get you Oops, some. Sorry. Take the monies. I don't like being at the front of the line, but at least I'm behind some. Yeah, a little protection. Poison. My initiative features, so hopefully that'll protect a little bit. Um, actually, if somebody stops and lands in that space, do they take damage every turn they're in that space? No, just entering. So Almost funny. every disadvantage from uh, terrain is, is just based on entering it. Okay. Who's next? Uh, I believe I am. Yeah, because the... monsters at a 58. Yeah. All right, so, hmm, well, this kind of sucks because both of my cards were based on range closer than this. I was hoping, oh, uh, one of the guys would be moving. Well, yeah, I was hoping that at least one guy would be closer, but that didn't happen. Um, hmm. Oh, that makes sense for the earth demons to get weaker with wind. So it's like a resistance thing, or like the opposite element. But it was on their card, thing. so it seems like they would use it. Yeah, they get weaker. When but that's weird for them present. to have an ability on their card that makes them weaker. Yeah. Well, because it's a, it's not their element. They're earth demons. So it's a it's a wind element. And you know what I mean? And it's got the X, so that means somebody has to consume it. So it yeah. So they're taking it off the board, which is bad for us if we want to use it. But it's a negative modifier for them. I'm gonna look it up. Hmm. Who's next? I'm just. I am. I'm you trying to figure out if I can do anything. Turn. Okay. Well, if I go to. Can you make your way to the blood root? No, I don't have any move. I don't have move more than two. So I think I'm going to go, let's see if I go here. Oop. Oh, so I just looked it up. Uh, if there is wind on the board, the earth elementals will consume it and have minus two to their attack. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, just like, yeah, Deb, Deb and you can, I think Gabe thought the same too. Uh, All right. I hate <laughs> these. <help> there. <laughs> I'm trying to move out be, of the way. I just need to be smaller. Um, okay. There we go. You're a little rat. That makes sense. All right. Um, okay, so if I move here, which is two spaces away from where I started, then I can... I'm only one, two, three, four. So I use the bottom half of... Doo -doo -doo, uh, submissive, submissive Affliction to move, and then I use the top half to attack for two at a range of four. Oh, wait. Oh, that's a new card for you. Is it? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And and I'll do a immobilize also. Um, Very cool. I Ooh, could, on the Earth Demon. I could, or I could hit the Viper. You know. Um. Yeah. Do it to the Viper. We can keep those poison guys back. And kill them at range. That would be. Yeah. I don't care if the shield guy hits me. I've got shield on. And... Okay. All right. So uh, I will attack the Viper at two. Let me make sure I shuffle my deck. Big money. Hey, Ooh. look at that. Four damage. Wow. Nice. Four damage on Elite One, right? Yeah. And it immobilizes him. You know he's only one away from death now. They don't have a lot of hit points. Yeah, I really wish I would have killed him because... Um, well, you would... did the most damage you could do. Yeah. Yeah. So... I don't think you can beat yourself up killed. about that. Well, I, I wish I would have killed him for a reason. Oh. Oh. Some sort of goal during battle, I'm guessing, yeah. that he'd like to it's just, it's just It's just this little thing, I, this little obsession of mine I developed. Well, it's not recently. the first kill of the match, so <laughs> yeah. it can't be that one. No. All right. I am finished. So Actually, I need... the Viper might kill itself in the uh, thorns if we can get him over here. Yeah. Well, it won't. It won't go that way though. It'll go oh. around. 
so it's it is mobilized their, anyway. Yeah, it is their yeah. turn. So the elite one does not move, but he loses his um his little thing. Alright. Uh let's see. And we got elite and three. They're not ranged, right? Right. No, they're just melee. Elite three is gonna move one space only, so he'll just move here. I was worried they might have poison spit or some bullshit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we just make them all smaller. Yeah, that's true. And then uh, the regular guy just will move one space here. And then these guys are done. So nice. I think it's just Deb and then the Earth Demons. Guys. Alright, looking alright, looking alright. I do remember in the rules it's saying that um, monsters will consume if they can elements so that does make sense now why ah, they have that rule so there's okay. no choice about it they do it yeah they just suck in all that air <laughs> all right so deb's up um so i am going to do something really stupid and uh -oh. move one right here all right so hey. i guess you get to flip it and see is it on nice. or even Jimmy. hey even. you found one Nice Yay! work, Dad. That one of six. Sweet. <laughs> Knocked it out. And then I'm going to use the top half of my reviving shock uh, to attack two at a range of three, uh, two targets. Ooh, nice. So I'm going to attack this um, little baby snake first. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's a good see. move. Plus two. A. Hey, that's four. Yeah, it's dead. It's a regular. Woo! Dang. That's a great turn. Yeah. And then she gets the, to attack a couple I will more. Attack this uh, Earth Demon to elite guy. Was that normal four she killed, Gabe? Uh, yes. Ooh, okay, so that's demand. a that's just a two, and he doesn't have any shielding, so that's nice. Earth Demon two, you said? Well, they're both Earth Demon two, but the green one. <laughs> it's a uh, written on the actual thing, so he's two. Yeah. Oh, okay. Actually, both both normals are dead, so oh, there's only one. This guy, then. Uh, that's two, and this guy's one. Why wow, she killed an Earth Demon? Also, no, no, no. Oh. She hit it for how much? Two. Two to Earth Demon two. Okay. Okay. Nice, the green nice, one. and a blood root. <clears throat> nice. That's a turn. Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Now Earth Demons, and then that's the round. All right, so the reds always go first, and that's the other thing, I think, the color coding. Um, so they are moving at a plus one, so they get to move three spaces. So, Joe, you were first, right? Yeah. So I'm assuming they'll target you. One, two, three to Deb, or one, two, three to me. Yeah, since Deb and I are the same range, it looks like. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Good. So now it is. So now he's doing two. Uh, I'm sorry, four damage to you. I can draw the card. I don't know if I shuffle it. Okay. Uh, at no modifier. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, my hide armor kicks one, and then I have the shield bash going. So that's two shield. So only two gets through. Nice. All right. So the second one won't. It will target Deb, right? Because yeah, unfortunately, because now we got all the, the shortest path. path. Dang it! Wait. Should should have moved up one more. No, Is it, it was still I'm... target Joe it, or me because he has the lowest initiative. It ignores it ignores this because it's an object. Oh. Yeah, and or it, it treats it like an object. The shortest path based on the attack of its card. So Got yeah, it. because of the. But I thought it would if that was the. Sh I thought it chose its target first, though. Yeah, but it bases it on if it if it could walk to the nearest target. But it can walk there. It can't because of this obstacle. But it can go in that. Can yeah, it? but it, it says you ignore you treat uh, hazards and traps like obstacles, so it'd be oh, like it was a green bordered hex my issue is that 
I that's not the way we've been playing it this whole time. I thought. Oh was yeah. Way, no. The, yeah, we it have. It was targeting the person with the lowest initiative still. It is oh. if the distance is the same, but if you're me but you measure the distance to the target by what could it walk toward with infinite moves what could it walk toward the closest or what's the closest i didn't think anymore? that's how we've been doing it i thought we were literally counting hexes that's what we did in the last game we may have had some turns but if we did that's wrong well and, and then i think i mean this a uh, this is weird because of the trap being block or blocking this area like this it's also the arrow. fact that they technically can't walk through me so right right so they wouldn't they wouldn't count anything past you because you would be like an obstacle too. Well, that's what I mean. So, like, technically, we're all the same distance away. You know what I mean? Right, well, but but this is this blocked. Guy. So he would have yeah. to literally walk all the way. Yeah, if if you weren't there, he would have to literally but walk he can't all the way. Walk through me is what I'm saying. So right, you can't but take if those you... other hexes into consideration. Basically, what changed it is the first Earth Demon moving up and cutting off this path right. changed everything. Now there, there is only one viable path to Joe. Well, I mean, there's not there. There is another path, but it's treated like an obstacle unless there is absolutely nowhere else that Earth Demon can go to attack. But there isn't anywhere else they can go to attack him because I'm blocking the other route. Which you is see what I mean? It, it picked you. As, right. as I just, I just don't. Well, however we did it, and I, we we probably did do some wrong turns. We re-looked it up because we've been catching flack about this in comments. And basically, the way it's supposed to work is when the monster's turn starts, you look at its card, and based on its move and attack in the card, it finds the target that it can perform that card with the least amount of move. I thought it was explicitly the other way that it would. And that's what I'm saying. We may on... have we may have screwed that up. Uh, well, no. I mean, it's always been the fact that it, it you. I thought you, it was initiative first. You count the number. You count the number of hexes based on. Oh no, it's never been initiative first alone. It's been distance, and then if if distance is tied between two different targets. Yeah, but it's. I thought it was based on the hexes, not what's in the hex like technically it's friend is still in like a friendly space you know what i mean right so anything where anything that has a figure in it is is becomes like an an obstacle and then anything with a trap or a hazard like, in it is an obstacle also yeah, so that's why no one can move there what i'm saying is like they could technically still go here and get closer to their target. Like, he's still a target within, like, that's still a normal path through Earth Demon 1. But if there's a target that it, that's a thing where you got to look at the card first. If there's another target that it would be able to move and perform its attack, you have to pick that target. Right. It's kind of, it's on your reference card, too, under the monster actions, focused on one closest, comma, two lowest initiative then move to maximize attack on focus and then that sometimes need further clarified but it's been a mess and i i don't blame you because i do think there was a turn or two where we yeah i don't know i still eh. but moving forward because it just says amazing. it just says distance it doesn't say anything about its friend being in a spot. Yeah, it's it a, a monster. It just says closest. A, mo a monster. Yeah, but that's the third thing on the list. It says focus on first the closest, which would be, which would be uh, Joe and I. Okay, and I'll then I'll read on the lowest initiative, which would be Joe. Yeah, and I'll then read on the to rule maximize book. Attack on focus. Okay, so let me read the rule book. What it says, then this might go into enough detail. A monster will focus on the enemy figure it can perform its current attack against using the least amount of movement. It finds the shortest possible path to get in range and line of sight to use its attack, and the figure that can be attacked at the end of the path is the focus. The enemy figure is considered the closest. It doesn't matter if the monster can, can't get in with, within range with its attack or current movement as long as there's a path to eventually get within range. If a monster does not have an attack listed on its ability card, it finds a focus as if it had a melee attack. Let's see... Um, in the case where a monster can move the same number of spaces to get within range, 
of multiple enemy figures because it starts its turn within range of multiple enemies, proximity from the monster's current position is then checked as a tiebreaker for determining closest. And then... Okay, but that still doesn't change what I'm saying. Well, I think the, the first sentence is really all you need to focus on. That it If will... more than one enemy ties for being closest, the second priority is to focus on the enemy who is earlier in the initiative order. Uh, but then when it's talking about interaction with traps... Mo uh, let's see. Monsters without the flying trait consider negative hexes to be obstacles when determining focus and movement unless movement through one of these hexes is the only way they can focus on a target. So it's going to ignore Joe because he's Okay, the example the text thing. is the thing that's important. Even though he's physically closer, the monster is performing a melee and can get in range of the tinker in fewer steps. Right. So I okay. think it's the fact that it's, it's focus in... But that's really weird because it's not really the way that it's worded. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've got a big problem. Because with technically he is the closest, and it does say explicitly in the rules that he would move as close as possible, mm -hmm. even if he couldn't complete his attack at the end. But then and you then have later to read. It says here's this example right. that says it's, exactly the fucking it's, opposite. It's because which is very it, tilting. It's because it's it's because it's clarifying it in reference to traps. If there wasn't a trap here or a hazard, then we would just do it exactly like how we... Well, that's a straight-up obstacle. It. That's a straight-up, like, green, he can't right. there right. anyway right. thing. Yeah, I've Which got Which means that movement there would never be possible, but with traps, like, Many technically Many movement there is possible. Right, right. It's just that it's the lowest priority movement. Yeah, and it would be easier if they just said, look, monsters are never going to go in traps unless they have absolutely no other way to get to enemies. I mean, that would yeah. be the simplest way to say that, yeah. because it just makes yeah, sense. True. If you if there was an overlord, an overlord would never run the enemies into traps. Um, so they could just have said it that way, and it would have been a lot clearer. Well, they might, depending on how evil the overlord is. Yeah. yeah. If it would prevent the enemies, or the like heroes, from getting through to a certain choke point, right, they right. absolutely would put somebody on Well, the yes, that, that's what I'm saying. Unless they have absolutely no other choice, I mean, they wouldn't just... Because then we could game the system and constantly just funnel them through or into those traps. Well, I mean, we technically could if mm. we put a trap down over here and then stood on the other side and just waited. Yeah. But it's only one well, damage trap, yeah. which is probably why. Did we do the damage? I, I did no. already? Or, oh, not yet? Okay. Uh, well, so, so it's four. Should have planned that better. Oh, thank God you have your helmet on. Yeah. Jesus. Okay. I've got to get over these That's guys. That's why, it's kind of why I wanted the rock guys stunned earlier when we decided to stun a snake. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll right. draw focus. I, I can jump and be right next to him, I think. All right. Oh, you're going to move? I might, if I could draw focus of both of the rock guys, I might. So that's all. So we're picking now, right? Yeah. Yeah, and and what I was thinking, guys, since we are picking, if I maybe jumped and ended up here, so both the rock guys were on me, is that gonna mess anybody up? Are you gonna be able to go early in the initiative? Because otherwise, yeah, they might probably, target. Yeah, I could probably swing that, and then, and then the snakes, maybe one of the snakes will get. To I it. can also stun. Yeah. Do, Actually, I could we... stun both of them. Let me check my moves, but I I think I will jump so that one just doesn't sit on Deb and. Do we want to try to burn down the snakes first or the rock guys? Because they're right here. I think the I think rock guys. At least guys... one person should focus on the snakes and just get rid of them. Yeah, if you get rid of snakes from range and they never can use their poison, that would be. Yeah, they're just anybody... around the corner. That would be awesome. Well, well the, you can still see the the one. Can I? I yeah, if you go from the corner, this corner of your hex to. Oh, I can see the one. Okay. Yeah. And Nikki, I will be putting some elements out. Ooh. On one card.
Okay. I think I know what I want to do. I'll be. I'm gonna have both of the elementals stun this round. Oh really? Yeah. Are you Are you going pretty fast? Yep. I'm also going fast. Does damage okay. break them out of stun or no? Uh no. no. Great. Wow, you're gonna Only stun time. both of them. Yeah. Wow. Uh okay. Does that change cool. what you're doing, Joe? No, it won't change where I'll end up at, but I certainly can pick whatever the hell I want in the top half, and that's pretty cool. Let's see what I want to do. What would people think if this demon got pushed into the vines for a little bit of something? Uh, things. Oh, but then he yeah, has. Then he'd start focusing you in again. Well, and then he, I'm not ranged to him, so I'm at yeah. disadvantage attacking him too. You're right. That's yeah, bad idea. But if it's worth it, um, I can not actually. Really. I could hit the other guy, so I don't care. No, no, that's that's cool. It's. And then, because then next turn he wouldn't move to attack me, he'd just sit there and attack you, which I don't want that either. That's true, that would make me move. Well, that's not awful either. Alright, is everyone ready? Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so the giant viper. They are moving at 32. They're moving and attacking <gasps> at base, and then add plus two attack if the target is adjacent to any of the giant viper's allies. Mm. So I'm assuming that's Joe. <laughs> well, that no. If if they go before me and before oh. you, they're not going to get in range of crap. I don't think too much. Well, they're going at 32. So yeah, I like that they're actually going kind of fast. Earth demon is 42, moving plus one and attack minus one. So. That won't matter. Good. So I'm at eight. <clears throat> Devs. All right. Fifty something. Do we want to take a break here, or do the round and then take a break? Uh, let's do let's, the round since we had a round. rule okay. interlude. Yeah. All right. So we have. So I'm going to start off with, um, hmm, I guess I could do either one, because I, I, I forgot I had infused the battlefield with ice, so I could. Oh, yeah, there's a ton of elements. I don't know why I'm bragging that I'm going to be putting something out. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, I'm dumb. Uh-oh. I'm only going to be able to stun one. <laughs> Because of the fact Stunned that one by Deb, right? Well, yeah, I, I can do that. The bad thing is, am I going? I'm not going before the demons. So yeah, stun the one by Deb, and the other one will hit me. Oh, I see. Because I'm not right next to it. I re didn't realize that one of them is not a ranged attack. The other one is. You can stun that one, so I'm the one who. Right takes a little bit of the shot oh wait he can't hit the one next to oh shit yeah Deb. unless, you, unless use... you use the bottom part to move oh but it's the bottom <laughs> yeah you can't move close enough to stun it either right right let me can I pick a different card since I didn't know that <laughs> I did not realize that Let's, the other one was not going to be. Cause, no, because I've got, make your cards I, I've work? got, I've got a card I can use instead. There's no way I can attack and stun either one. That's why I, I asked. Don't. It sounded pretty huge. Like you're no, I it it would be something I could do if if I if there was space where I could move next to someone, or if I had two enemies next to me, I could do it to to two uh, different enemies. Do you want to just swap? Oh, never mind. Well, <laughs> I was what like, I was going to do, initiative, I was going to keep this one and then just switch out another one, which I could use. I'm uh, fine with that. Pick something, though, that you, because she thought you were going to stun both of them. Well, yeah, that's why I'm saying I, if I switch out, then I can do something 
basically the same thing. Yeah, I'm good with it. Go for it. And it'll penalize me anyway because I'll lose this card. Well. Okay. Okay. So the first attack is going to be at a two range. So I'll I'll ha I have to target uh, the one near Joe. All right. So it's an attack of one plus one. So two damage to elite one. Two. I'll get it. Okay. And then he is also stunned. All righty. And then that infuses with ice and then gives me an XP and then I'm using empathetic assault so I attack at four at a range of five and then I'll disarm him nice so he won't be able to attack either okay. make it a big hit yeah so attack four come on okay so just four damage to two that's awesome still. Yeah, he's he's disarmed, and then I infuse it with ice again, and wow. that, I get two XP. Damn, we got to start watching your cards, though. You've already lost two. Now. Oh, nope, I've only lost one. Just one? Yeah, Okay. so it wasn't too bad. All righty. Okay. I'm not till 50s. I think the Vipers are next. Awesome. Yeah. So they are so... doing uh, two two movement each so they would focus on probably me well are you earlier than nikki in initiative i am the next in initiative so no. they're gonna come to me so that well it'll only make it here oh okay yeah and then this guy only makes it here so i guess either way Ooh, it would uh, why would he move oh i guess this guy would move here wouldn't he move on the trap because that is the only possible route this time for sure yeah that's true and he would be able to uh he would be able to attack right still too he would get to attack okay. first guy or the second guy the second guy wait oh. wouldn't first guy would go the there? first wouldn't the first guy go there though oh well yeah I, I guess around? i guess i guess but yeah, i thought it doesn't really matter traps like obstacles so, but there's nowhere yeah, but else. That's there, literally there's, the only path. Yeah, there is time, nowhere for else sure. for no it to argument. go. <laughs> so he's now hurt himself one. Right. Yes. Actually, he's dead. Yeah. So, Yay! Wow. That seems so strange that he would just kill himself. Well, Wait, does to. that does that the mean the other get yeah. somewhere to attack? It's the this... rules. They wrote him. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. the other one actually hunger. does get on there then and does get to attack, but he loses a hit point. Uh, he does two damage, and that's to remind us of the one that died. And he's attacking Nikki, right? Yeah, yeah. Not, <clears throat> so not he Joe. doesn't get the bonus to. Right. So he's only doing one damage, but he is poisoning you. No. Okay. Sorry, Nikki. No Damn, problem. Thanks would be moving that way. That's actually the best way that could go, though. Yeah. <laughs> Killed one for free. True. All right. Three ninety nine. Oh, well, that's a bummer because it kind of ruins one of my attacks, but that's okay. I was going to hit the snakes, but now he's not at range, so I feel like I'll just attack the golems. Which yeah, why? go right ahead. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and Do attack. Do you have a range of three or just two? I have two for one and three for the other, so okay. I'm going to attack the one closest to Joe first with the bottom of Flame Strike, so it's attack two, range of two. Okay. And grab my modifier. Oh. Oh, man. Stupid. Wow. All right, fine. <laughs> I'm going to attack the one near Deb for <laughs> three, three, or sorry, two at a range of three, but because there is a light on the board, I'm going to consume the light for a plus one. So it's going to be three damage, and I get an experience. Nice. Oh, wait, I have to shuffle after Noel, right? No, not yeah. till the end of the round. Oh, <gasps> great. Oh, well, whatever. Three damage. On the, which one? The... Uh, two? One seven two, two. Two. Oh. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. That's good. And again, an experience point. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's it for my turn. All right. So then the golems go, and they don't do anything. 
But they yeah. get rid of their disables. And yeah. it's done. Okay. Um, and then I'm the last. So uh, I get to go though. Oh yes. I Sorry. Sorry. I thought I was the only. I put my potent potables up and then uh, heal myself for four. Nice. Um, Good. Harmless contraption. There we go. Are uh, you at full health now, Deb? Or yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. So then I'll do the bottom of Leaping Cleave, which is a move three jump and infuse wind. So now I'm wondering, <gasps> I was going to move here. Ooh, that wind is great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should I, I jump to here? If they draw it. Yeah, that's to true. To draw the snake? Because the Earth Demon 2 is low. Do we anticipate on him dying before he even gets to Are go? you poisoned? Nah, -uh, not, not yet. That, that might be cool. Because then it won't hit me, and then I won't take extra damage. But then I don't want to leave Deb hanging. I guess I'm I just... at full health. Don't worry about me. Yeah. So if I move here, that's cool. Okay, right? Because yeah. I said I was going to move here. Okay, so I'll jump to there then. It's fine. I'll just try to kill it next turn. Yeah, it's only okay, got four hit points, and I I can also try to target it. And then I'll so that was two movement because balance measure. Uh, is I get attack X, where X is the number of hexes I've moved. So not the greatest movement, but two, and I guess try on the, the snake or the... What are you doing? What are you trying to figure which one to attack? Earth Demon 1 or the snake? Probably the snake. Yeah, because otherwise we'll have to waste two heals if it poisons someone else. Okay. Probably won't be much, but it's a or two attack. Or at least attack. getting close. Plus zero, so two on the snake. Didn't quite get him. That's okay. okay. And that's me. So that's it, right? Yeah. All right, we'll take a quick break, uh, and then we'll be right back to continue on. Almost got this first room cleared. Well, too bad. yeah. There's two guys still left, big guys, yeah. but... And we have to got scatter this. and get all those stupid... Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right. All right, we'll see you guys back in just a few minutes. <laughs> 